All right. Hi, everyone. Um, welcome back to another video. We're going to continue with the Star Oil story. Um, I know that actually a lot of you guys may not enjoy this type of content because it is pretty long and it's spoilers for people who that want to potentially play the game in the future. But I think this is more for myself and like my closer friends to look back on and just like see how I dealt with the story, see what I understood from it. And speaking from my experience with Genshin, I feel like, you know, at one point you will look back at certain parts of the early chapters of the story and be like, oh, you know, I didn't know that about this part or something like that. Uh, it's just worth documenting to me and that's why I'm making these videos and I hope those of you who are still around to watch this part will uh, understand that. Um, I'm thinking about making some different forms of content in the future, so that will come shortly. But in the meantime, I wanted to progress with the Lulfu storyline. I did arrive at the Lulfu already, as you can probably tell by the background. But yeah, let's get into the rest of the story. I'll probably only end it uh, the clips in that I feel like are interesting enough or that are very like important to the parts of the story. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. All right, so we gotta go meet with, okay, I forgot you can't just jump off. Okay. And for those of you who may have noticed, yes, I did kind of re-roll into another account. I played until around the same part as uh, the original one. And the reason is that uh, I, unfortunately caved in on the first account and I bought a like a monthly pass thing and I think that I really want to remain free play in this game um, as opposed to Genshin so kind of restarted that so yeah <sighs> Madame Yukong has asked me to look after you oh wow okay seems like we were destined to be in each other's company yep the Skyfaring Commission already in my party, rooms so. for you at the Petrichor Inn. When you finish your business here, how about some tea together? Sure. Thank you so much. You seem reluctant to hotel again. <laughs> we have a trauma response, a PTSD to hotels now. Easy. I know this probably brings back bad memories. The Lofu actually looks so Folks. cool, though. Now the storm, come to Petrichor Inn. Ooh, well, here we are. I feel sleepy already. The sun hasn't gone down yet. Oh, what? But we've done a whole day's work. What's the sun playing at? It felt like we spent the whole day in the Palace of Astrum. Uh, jokes aside, did you see Madame Yukong frown at us? I thought her guards were about to jump out of nowhere and throw us in jail. Uh, I'd rather deal with monsters than these big shots. March, watch your watch how you're talking. <laughs> Not that Madame <laughs> Lama. <laughs> I really like the subtle humor in this game is so refreshing. Don't worry, my lips are sealed. But as her subordinate, I have to say that it's Madame Yukong's duty to keep her guard up. The Law Fu is facing a crisis, and as head of the Skyfaring Commission, she is responsible for the security of the Sienjo's customs and borders. She's actually a very reasonable old girl in private. Old girl? They say that many years ago, Madame Yukong was an ace pilot in the Cloud Knights. She was a work hard, play harder type, known for her hot temper and incredible skill. Eventually, she became the head of the entire commission, which required her to learn patience and adopt a meticulous approach to her work. In any case, Madame Yukong instructed me to reserve the best rooms at the inn and have all your expenses covered. She wants to extend the full courtesy of the Sienjo so that all of you enjoy your stay to the fullest. She specifically mentioned that if you wish to buy anything at the inn, be it food or otherwise, just let the inn keep. March is like completely charmed, but I'm like still sus over here. 
Big thanks to Madame Yukon for us. It's nice, but I'm just like a little bit sus yourself. <clears throat> Seeing as our hosts are so thoughtful, I guess we should help oh ourselves. Oh god, she's right, like the Paimon of this game, only like she's full size. We should focus on our objective first. Seeing as Helmmaster Yukong was extremely reluctant to get us involved, am I right to speculate that the Skyfaring Commission has some leads on the whereabouts of Kafka? Exactly right. The suspect is extremely cunning. She encrypted her transmission and timed her communication. We couldn't pinpoint her exact location. But as cunning as she is, the Divination Commission has managed to find something. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. Oh god, this is gonna make us look even more sus. I heard something in the background. Yeah, there's like a machinery sound. That's the sound of a device. Uh, which means what exactly? This is a starship. There are all kinds of devices making weird noises. Miss March, to the untrained ear, these noises may sound the same, but for the craftsmen of the Artisan Ship Commission, every machine has a different pitch and melody. The General sent for craftsmen, and they concluded that the sound came from the shipyard facilities in Stargazer Navalia. Now, get some rest and prepare yourselves for the operation ahead. I look forward to seeing you in action. Folks! If you're looking for a place to wait out the storm, come to Petrichor Inn. She looks cool. Anyway. Let's take advantage of the rest. It won't be easy to track down Kafka the Stellaron Hunter. Oh, let's let the Express know how we're doing. More importantly, let's see how Don Hunt's yeah, doing. Yeah, let's check out who Don <laughs> Ask him what he's up to. Then tell him we're having loads of fun. Why did it fail to send? Uh oh, turned his phone off. You've been standing here for half an hour. It's rare to see you like this. Are you? Worried about those two? Welt is with them. They should be fine. <sighs> Himiko, did you keep a copy of the Stellaron Hunter's transmission? Can I have a look? Sure. Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lafu. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? <sighs> what exactly are you Stellaron Hunters trying to do? The Cienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. <sighs> it's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Cienjo is convinced that we're responsible. Stop! Do you know him? The Sienjo is in danger. This man, he... <laughs> if he's on the ship, then Welt, March, and him. Everyone is in grave danger. Oh my god, he's never, like, reacting this much. Jesus Christ, yeah, now I'm scared. What? Is he connected to that past you want to escape? I... <sighs> I can't leave them down there. Oh, it's oh, just... is he... Oh, no. Is he in danger? I'm afraid my burden has finally caught up with me. And that everyone is about to be drawn in. Is there anyone who doesn't carry around a past burden? She may not remember it, but I feel even like a girl she's, as carefree like, as Himiko Mark probably doesn't understand the severity of it. We tread on a path that is hidden from us. The things we see and the trails we blaze all become our baggage. They weigh us down, but... They also give us strength to continue the journey. Try not to dwell on it, Don Hung. The Express spends seven standard days at each stop. 
its passengers are allowed to do as they deem fit during that time. Pom Pom and I are more than capable of looking after the Express. If there's something you've got to do, do it now. Better than regretting it further down the line. And you'll come back and travel with us once this is all over, right? Oh no. What if he says no? Okay, okay. Oh, okay, so this is like... Okay, got it, got it. Okay, leave. Oh, so someone cut off the connection. Can't send the message out. The network is down. But some virtually nothing has changed since I left. This Apart from darkness... Are you two okay? Good. I'm Sushong of the Cloud Knights. I was just transferred here from the Yaoqing. I did tell you to let me handle it. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. What if I accidentally hit you? Forgive me, miss, but you were too <laughs> miss. Busy being hit yourself. It's a good thing I joined the Oh, friend. wow. <laughs> I was protecting you more like. It's a Cloud Knight's job to protect others. And this area is under martial law. I'm escorting all civilians to safety. Follow me. That was some impressive Cloud Knight spearmanship. Which unit are you from? Hmm. I'm not a Cloud Knight. Huh. Okay. You're a civilian then. Come with me. Miss Sushang, what exactly has transpired here? In all my trade visits, I've never seen Starskiff Haven in such a state. I, uh, I can't comment on that. I was just ordered to rescue the civilians. Actually, I have no idea either. Anyway, you two just need to come with me. Hey, you're pretty quiet. What's your name? I've got forms to fill out. Can't put your name down as blank. I love how she's like the, it's like, this is like a classic extrovert, introvert, introvert kind of thing. My name is Don Hung. I'm a traveler. I'm on my way to meet up with my friends. I... Appreciate the help, but I can leave the port on my own. No can do, mister. It's way too late. You won't find anyone at Starskip Haven. If your friends made it out, then they'll already be in the safe zone. No need to worry. You'll see them when we get there. Aren't you going to take my name too, miss? You already said it when we were busy fighting. Lo, Lo something. Something. Lo Cha, is that right? <laughs> I remember it. Let's go. Stay close, you two. Cloud Knight Sushong will guarantee your safety. Okay. Oh, one more thing. I need you to write your names down later. I don't know, know too many characters. I might make a mistake. Message not sent? Why not? Long-range communication technology is still improving. Perhaps the presence of the Stellaron is affecting signal transmission. Doesn't seem like it. Everything else is working fine. See? In that case, it looks like someone wants to make things difficult for us. Since Kafka's here, I wouldn't be surprised if this turns out to be that Stellaron hunter hacker girl's handiwork. Get away with your crime by pretending to be a waiter. Oh, you've arrived. Sorry to keep you waiting. No, no. Only an extra couple of hours. Stargazer Navalia is governed by the Artisanship Commission. It took me a while to sort out our paperwork. I got a sense of the situation on my way back, just like at Cloudford. Stargazer Navalia's Meridian Pin has malfunctioned. The checkpoint there is abandoned, and the garrison is scrambling to locate the Stellaron. With monsters wreaking havoc and the knights scattered, Stargazer Navalia has become a perfect place for the suspect to hide out. <sighs> so we've got a bunch of monsters to deal with, an IPC most wanted Stellaron hunter to catch, oh, wow. and we Good have to summary. do all that on our own without reinforcements? Ah, uh, fair enough. This isn't our first rodeo. That's just what we do every day. <laughs> 
That's the trailblazing life for ya. I wouldn't say you're entirely on your own. <laughs> when you're ready, let's get going. Shall we, my benefactor? Now what's a hunt without a hound? Kafka is still at large, and the Skyfaring Commission wants this problem to go away. I made a few calls and managed to procure this from the Artisanship Commission. Perfect for hunting down suspects. Oh, it's so cute. Aww, he's so I know, cute. right? Uh, <clears throat> I mean... What can he do exactly? <laughs> Are we gonna set him loose on Kafka? Yes, and no. This is Deeting, a bionic dog developed by the Artisanship Commission. He has all the five senses of the Foxian race and takes them to another level, be it tracks or scent, as long as he uncovers a trace. He'll follow it all the way to the end. All we need to do is look for any trace left by Kafka. It doesn't matter how good she is at hiding, Deeting will find her. But before I we get that. started, let's play with his settings a bit and get him ready. To begin with, let's set him to scent detection mode. Tell Dating to follow the scent of my perfume and see what he can do. <sighs> we need to follow these sparkly traces to find Miss Ting Yoon, right? She's not in a hurry, that's for sure. Playing hide and seek with us while Kafka's still at large? From inside the pilot house came the general. The traces. Where did they go? Ow. Got it. He says the wind is too strong here at the Wow, park, so, so, so Mark speaks by a dog. That's just the psychic bond between cute girls and cute puppies. Using the environment to hide her traces. Our girl from the Skyfaring Commission sure knows how to put up a challenge. Let's look around and see if we can find any other clues. Or we could ask around? Look how busy this place is. Someone must have seen Miss Ting Yoon. That, that is not going to work. Right? We're just collecting intel. Excuse me. Well, that's a heck of a question, miss. I'd say nearly one in every two people passing through Star Skiff Haven is Fox. He's not lying. Pretty? Well, that's too generic for a Foxian. Even if you don't count the ladies. As tedious as it is, I... I can put my hand on my How's heart that? and say I remember this fine lady. Nonsense. I've been stood next to you this whole time. That's and a... I well, I may not have seen her in person. But her beauty feels like a long lost acquaintance. Oh, dear. <laughs> <sighs> Are you. Please accept our apology. Then you guys swung by asking for this fox. Stay calm, stay calm. I did see the girl you're looking for. I find it hard to trust. It. Tusk Pure Wrap, Song Lotus Cake, 
Guaranteed delicious. Miss Ting Yun must have left us these clues, right? Deeding should be able to pick up her traces now. You found me. If you pick up traces, oh God, of finally. Stargazer Navalia, just switch him on. Don't let her escape. <laughs> 